Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the lint chute seal on your dryer. It's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a number two Phillips screwdriver, a quarter inch nut driver, and maybe a putty knife. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will need to gain access to the back of the dryer, so we'll have to pull it forward, disconnect the power, and remove the vent. So our next step will be to remove the lint screen. We'll just set that aside. And then we'll remove these two screws that secure the main top to the lint filter housing. And we'll set that aside. And our next step will be to turn the dryer around and remove the back panel. So we'll remove all the screws that secure the back panel to the cabinet, as well as the small panel that covers the terminal block. Next, we'll remove that panel and set it aside. And now we'll remove four more screws that secure that lint filter housing to the blower housing. And we'll carefully lift the bottom of that lint filter housing out through the cabinet. And when we have that out, it's a good opportunity to clean any excess lint that may be built up inside of that housing, both top and bottom. Once we've done that, just set it aside. Now with the lint chute assembly out of the way, we can now remove the remainder of that seal. And it is a self-adherent type of seal that is stuck right to the blower housing. So take a putty knife, and just remove all the rest of it. It's important to have a nice, clean, dry surface to put the new seal on. So if you need to, take a wire brush and remove any of the stubborn areas, or take a solvent and soften up that glue and remove it. Now that we have that surface clean and dry, we can install the new seal. We'll just peel the backing off of it. We'll start that seal anywhere on the perimeter. Keep it fairly close the edge of that opening. Now make sure that seal is firmly adhered to that surface. And while we have that off, it's a good opportunity to clean the excess lint that may be in the blower housing areas. Take your vacuum and then maybe a screwdriver and just scrape each of those individual fins and clean that all out. And once we've done that, we should also take our lint filter housing and loosen up any built up lint that may be in that area as well as anywhere inside of that housing and clean that out as well. Now to reinstall, we're simply going to tuck the top end of it in. bulkhead. We'll line up the holes in the bottom and then we'll reattach that lint filter housing to the blower housing. We'll install all four screws before we tighten them. Make sure that we have it lined up properly.
and then go ahead and tighten those screws securely. And now we can put the back panel back on. We'll put a few screws in on either side before we tighten anything. Install the access cover. Once we have all the screws started, we'll go ahead and tighten them all securely. Make sure they're nice and snug so that we don't have any rattles. And then we can go ahead and reposition the dryer. We can now push the dryer back into place, reconnect the exhaust vent, and plug the unit back in, and our repair is complete.